Hey everyone, welcome back to another reaction video here on What a Ghoul Wants, and this is just where I will watch a movie that I have never seen for the first time and react to it in real time. Uh, so uh, in the past I've done a lot of 80s slashers for this reaction series, and today I do not have a slasher, but it is a film that is by a director that has directed a very famous cult classic slasher, and that slasher is Pieces. Uh, so the director is Juan Picar Simon. I hope I'm saying his name right. He's a Spanish filmmaker, and he also made a little movie in 1988 called Slugs. Uh, this movie is about killer slugs. It's pretty much what you would expect from the title. And so I've never seen this film before. Um, it's... Uh, Promising to be pretty gross, I think. I've seen a couple of scenes from it and they look pretty nasty. So so I'm definitely expecting to be kind of grossed out by this movie. I'm also expecting some silly dialogue and possibly questionable acting choices. Other than that, I don't really know much else about this movie. So yeah, I'm excited to finally watch it and uh, see what all the hype is about. It's definitely a cult classic film, so hopefully I will see why it is that way. <laughs> and I will either enjoy it or, um, you know, maybe be a little too grossed out to watch it again. But we shall see. So I'm gonna go ahead and get started and turn on slugs. Alrighty, getting the headphones in and we are gonna press play now let's go swimming or something it's cold we've already got some really good uh adr <laughs> and um dubbing happening There's something slimy down there i don't like it oh, oh no Cut it out. it's basically like a reenactment of jaws right now <laughs> oh no also pretty jaws like do slugs do they just like Chill underwater? Is that a thing they do? <laughs> I thought that they were uh, land-dwelling creatures, but I could be wrong. It's a pretty cool title card. I like it. <laughs> slugs the movie. <laughs> Not to be confused with Slugs the TV show. <laughs> it is apparently based on a novel. Okay, I did not know that. Gotta clock it and see how long it takes to get to the first slug. The first slug we see, I assume that it was Slugs at the beginning who <laughs> killed the guy in the lake, but... Oh, all right, we, we see him now. It is only like four minutes in, so pretty good. I'm assuming they're killer because of some sort of like toxic waste situation, but we'll see. <laughs> just throwing pizza down the stairs. Or they just come out of this guy's like hoarder house? I don't know. Oh, he got slugged. Uh, Don's our county sanitation supervisor. Aha. Uh -huh. Which is just a college educated way of saying that I crawl around in sewers and that I get paid about a quarter of what I made as a plumber. <laughs> that was a mouthful of a line. <laughs> that guy's mustache was impressive. Also, don't forget I'm known as the wicked bitch of the north. <laughs> Why was that line so quiet? Ooh, got some mustache. <laughs> I love this music. <laughs> oh my god. Ew. What does she want? Something about the sewers being backed up. I'm not on welfare. I pay my taxes. 18 years old and speak French. It's like mucus, you see. What are all these different accents? <laughs> Where is this? Whatever got him ate his eyes right out of his head. Or what used to be his head. That was top tier acting right there. That outfit looks a lot like the one that Tatum wears in Scream. Oh, I love the little... Uh, greenhouse. One minute later. Come on, Harold. This dubbing is really bad. Now, are those real slugs? It's like wiping my hat. Why can't he get off his glove? Oh, what is he doing? I'm very confused. Just take the glove off. Okay, he's gonna chop his own hand off, and I still don't know what's happening. Oh my gosh. Oh no. Did not expect to see an explosion this early on in this movie. <gasps> Oh my god, little teeny tiny slug teeth. Yeah, to Alright, I'm going. Shall we? It's just like people, the way that they react to the other actors and like they'll cut each other off or like not get their full line out. It's so funny. Did you tell that fat bastard to get his ass over to Frank Phillips' office? Did you tell that fat bastard to get his ass over to Frank Phillips' office? So if they eat parts of the slug. Do they become like a carnivorous slug? I was kind of hoping for some wild hors d'oeuvres. Is this sexy talk? <laughs> so this is the high school lab? 
listen to this exciting music as they like lightly jog down the hallway. <laughs> I'm sorry for being a bitch so much of the time. <laughs> Do they test on the guinea pigs in the school laboratory? <laughs> like, what is happening? Blah. Are they real slugs? I'll feel really bad if some of them are real, because that's not cool. Oh, uh, hamster, no! Oh my god! No! The poor hamster! Oh my goodness. Uh, whoa. Whoa. Wow, the entire floor is slugs. Uh, whoa. How the hell did they not notice that? They're so loud, too. That was, like, instantaneous. They're like little piranhas. Instead of the floor is lava, you know that game? Uh, it's the floor is killer flesh-eating slugs. Ew, her eye. They work fast. What could it mean? <laughs> What'll it be next? Demented crickets? Rampaging mosquitoes, maybe? I've watched movies about those. To the town limits. A toxic waste dump. I knew it. Toxic waste. Classic. I don't know why he's acting like he doesn't believe that guy when he just told the officer that he thinks it's killer slugs. Mike, there's something down there that's killing people. Flashback. Just maybe we're dealing with a, a mutant form of slug here, a, a kind that eats meat. Ooh. Wow. His eye popped up. See, those look like worms. Not slugs. I love how you can tell that none of those are actually moving at all. Ugh, wow. That's a lot of blood. God knows what his game is. My game is like you would call it is to save lives. What was that line? My game is like you would call it is to save lives. My game is like you would call it is to save lives? That makes no sense. He got slugged. I'll tell you what, when I do get back, how about if we get naked? This is the weirdest relationship. <laughs> they look like they're shaking it. When I just hear the word science, this is exactly what I picture. Is that the only indication that it's a Halloween party is there's this jack lantern on top of this car. Okay, there's a couple of masks that indicate that it's a Halloween party, I guess. Don't go in the sewer now. I was wondering how they were gonna get the slugs to this party. How are they dragging her away? Do they all go underneath the body and like then scoot it along? <laughs> yeah, this seems like a terrible idea. Seems incredibly dangerous. Whoa! <laughs> we love a good 80s electricity effect. It's always blue. <laughs> I like how none of them are moving. They just kind of like plops one down to make it look like they are moving. <sighs> how much longer? It's not like they're super fast or anything. Like they're not chasing after them. It's just like if you fall into a pit of them, they'll eat you. <laughs> they look like floating turds. Oh my god. Just gonna blow up random buildings. This seems incredibly safe. Is this better than the slugs though? <laughs> we could never have done it without him, Mike. Yeah, you you could have. You could have just not done this. Just the perfect music for this moment. Oh no. They missed one. Dun dun dun. And then the slug goes wink. <laughs> Okay. Alrighty. So, um, I think I was pretty correct in my assumptions about <laughs> what to expect. I think the story was pretty outrageous, which is on par for what I would think a killer slug movie would be. Um, lots of things that didn't make sense, but, you know, I'm not mad about that because it's just the nature of a movie like this. Um, I think that most of the effects were pretty good. Uh, some were a little iffy. Some of the shots of the slugs where it's just clearly like a bunch of fake slugs and they're not moving. And you're like, okay, uh, I guess they couldn't make it look realistic. Uh, you know, uh, some of the close up shots of a lot of them did look pretty good. And I don't know if there were real slugs used, if there were real slugs that were harmed in the making of this movie. 
It wouldn't surprise me, which would be pretty unfortunate, but some of them did look very convincing and real to me, so. That was kind of a mixed bag. Um, the acting was about what I expected. There were some lines that were just completely flubbed, even though they were uh, dubbed lines, which you think that they would have fixed that in post or something. And some of the accents were just really over the top. Yeah, the dialogue was not great. Uh, and there were some parts that it was a little slow moving. I was getting a little bored. I found myself starting to yawn. So I would say this is a movie that might be more fun if you're watching this with a group of friends. Uh, you know, having a late night get together, you just throw it on and kind of laugh at the silly parts and are grossed out by uh, the effects and stuff like that. So yeah, I don't know. It didn't quite live up to the hype. I thought it was going to be a little more outrageous and over the top. But um, yeah, the the soundtrack was <laughs> something that I kept laughing at too. It just felt very odd with what was happening, the kind of music that they were using. So I would recommend watching this. Like I said, if you're watching it with a group of friends, it'll be more fun that way, I would think. If you're just gonna be throwing it on and watching it by yourself, I would say it might be a little bit hard to get through. If I had to choose between slugs and pieces, I would probably go with pieces. Um, it's been a while since I saw that movie, but I think that I enjoyed it more than slugs. So I did like the little shot of the slug with the tiny teeth when it bit <laughs> the main character's finger. I kind of wanted more of that. So yeah, those are kind of my overall thoughts. Uh, if you've seen this movie, let me know in the comments what you think about it. If you love it, if you hate it, I would love to know. Uh, and also, if you liked this reaction, go ahead and give this video a thumbs up and maybe suggest movies in the comments that I should react to next time. Uh, a lot of times I'm just trying to look for movies that I'm going to um, have big reactions to with the stuff that's happening on screen. So anything that's kind of outrageous, over the top, those are the things that I kind of am looking for. Uh, I would love to do Dead Alive or Brain Dead one day. I can't find it streaming right now, so I am just going to wait and see. But that's one that I've been meaning to do in the future, so I think that one's going to really gross me out. But thank you all so much for watching. I really appreciate it. I hope you all have a great day, and we'll talk horror next time. Fat bastard.